It's Real Tomorrow with Cards Cribs, and I'm back with another one. Huge shout out to everybody watching this video. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, stop right now, pause the video, smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. If you're watching this on social media, make sure you share this video, video and follow me, and also give me a thumbs up. Today, we're in Moneyline, Illinois, where we'll be reviewing an over 5,000 square foot storefront building. Also, it comes with two apartments right up here. One is a studio and one is a two bedroom. The studio is renting out for 800. The two bedroom is renting out for 1200. This beautiful storefront can be broken up into five separate stores. This is number one right here. We already got one running. So you're gonna get rent from that one. You gotta keep that in mind. The rest of them are in here. So you guys don't wanna miss this video and don't forget smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys when we get inside. Now that we're inside this beautiful, very large building, I'm gonna give you guys a few points. Point number one, you can purchase this building for $649,000. You automatically gonna off top make $2,000 just for the apartment. That's not including the rent for the store here. And then you can rent out each separate thing because it's like four more stores you can put in this part. But, if you're not looking to buy, you're looking to rent, you also can lease out one of these places and it is $9.50 I mean, $9 per square foot. So let me give you the rundown. As you guys can see, this part here is huge. I mean, but we have a lot of different things you could do. You could do a tech two parlor, barber shop, office space. Honestly, nowadays, since, things have every, since everything has changed, it's possible it'd be a great office space and people can come here and get them a little cubicle and they can work in here instead of at home because some people don't want to work from home. Some people are not that productive at home so they would rather be out there when you bother with the kids and all that so they can come in here, get them a little space, do what they need to do right in here. You can put one, two, three, four, five over here. One, two, three, four, five over there. And then have a little common area with a little lunch room, put a little vending machine and all that and then you got the whole setup. So that's number one. You could do with this space. It's wide open. Again, with the commercial stuff, you have to put your own touches to it. So you always have to keep an open mind on how you want things set up. But I think that's perfect for a salon or barbershop or something of that matter. We also do have a little storage space right here. Bam, you can store some stuff in there. And then we have a bathroom. So everybody can use their bathroom. Nice little toilet. Nice little setup right there, commercial. More storage, you can store stuff in here. Very nice setup. Now, this unit is going to end, you can end it here, but I will possibly end it, mm, I'm ending it here because I want that outlet to go with this side. So I'm ending here, bam, right there. Now, store number two. We have the furnace and everything hooked up right there. It's a nice little space. I'd probably put like a little frig refrigerator or something in there. Nice little setup. This place is huge. Now, you could separate this into another place. Stop it here. So it'd be from there to here. It'd be some smaller. Or the people with the barbershop, they can put like a salon slash barbershop in one area. So they can have the barber or salon in the front and then the barbershop back here, vice versa. So they can do that, that's head up. Do a team make partnership, husband and wife or you know business partners can make that happen right there. So if you decide to go with splitting it up or even a barbershop slash salon, this is exactly where the door was before. So they took the door out and put a window right here. What I would do is put a new door right here just so you can split it up a little bit better. But it's all about preference. You could have them come through there if you're doing a barbershop salon. But women have a thing where they don't want, they don't like to have men in the vicinity while they're getting their hair done. So you maybe want to have it split up. That's what, I, that's what I recommend. This is number, what is that? One, two, three, four. This is number four, which is bigger than number two. Plenty of space. You can put you a little store right here. You can put you a little pet grooming place. We do have outlets as you guys can see right here and all the way around. So you have plenty of space. And it also 
was a bathroom right here. Let me move this door. Wham! Bathroom was right. Oh, that door was on the other side. There was a bathroom right here. So, we're going to cut this off right here where the bathroom is. This would be the end of number four. Put the bathroom, fix the bathroom up. I know it looks bad to some people, but it's really not that much work. Just put some flooring in there, hit the sink, put the sink in there. It's not going to be that bad. Drywall up top. And then right back here, you even have some storage space. Me, it's possible that I would try to cut it off so each side can have their own space. So you just put a little wall right here, this side get this space, and that side get the, their space. This place is huge. Store number five, stay alive. Plenty of space. You have emergency exits on this side, which is great. I mean, I don't even know what you can, the door was right there for this side. I need you guys to comment below and let me know what you would make each space. Because it's just so many variables, so many different things you can do in here. You gotta open your mind up. When you're doing, dealing with this and you're trying to start a business, open your mind up. Or even, guess what else? Even one of like those yoga places or something like that when people come here and exercise, get you a nice little setup here. Just so many different things you can do. So with this over 5,000 square foot building, you can separate it into five different sections. We already have one right here. They sell the vitamins and all that stuff right there. So this is what I'm gonna do. This is my setup. Right here is gonna be the barbershop. You already got the outlets, you have everything set up to make it a barbershop. The next thing, which, which start, we have a bathroom right there, don't forget about that. It's gonna start about here. This is gonna be the beauty salon. You're gonna put a door right there. This is where the women gonna come in and get their hair done. In this area right here. Then we're gonna come over here, wham. Right here is where we're gonna put the nail salon. And we're gonna block that off. The door is already right there. People gonna come and get the nails. So the women, after they get their hair done or before they get their hair done, while they waiting, they come over here, boom, get the nails done. And then of course, right over here, you have to eat. So we got to have some type of food right here. So any of the, the local places who, who sell food, this is where we're gonna have a food place at. We're gonna come in here, get them some food and all that, chill and relax while they wait to go to the salon. So that's the whole setup, that's what I'm doing with the building. And don't forget, we have the other building already paying rent right there. And then we have the two apartments upstairs so you can't lose, it's a nice little setup. So again, this is in Moneyline, Illinois. Oh, let's look outside. You got all this parking here too. All this parking. And it goes all the way down. We're gonna give you guys a snippet of the outside of the video. So if you're looking to purchase, you're gonna see the whole thing. And it's, it's very, very nice and an excellent area. area again over 5,000 square feet with two apartments upstairs you can separate it into five different stores or you can leave it one or if you're looking to rent you can always email me at Rome's house reviews if you're looking for to buy you can always email, email me at Rome's house reviews at gmail.com whichever one you prefer 950 a square foot if you're looking to rent 649,000 if you're looking to purchase. It's a great investment and you for sure gonna make your money back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. If you need any houses, commercial buildings, anything, email me at romeshousereview at gmail.com. I'll see you guys on the next one. It's Real to Rome and I'm gone.